Well, good morning, guys. It is 7 a.m. Right up and early. I'm on my way to a track horse ranch. Therapeutic ranch for animals and kids. I'm doing a little volunteering today. It's really the only reason I'm ever up at 6 in the morning. As you can see, I'm all bundled up because it is terribly cold outside. I mean, we're in the 40s. It's cold for Tucson. So, I've been on my drive uh, to the ranch and I've been thinking to myself, while it may be obvious to some, why do we not chase after the things that we want? Uh, well, sometimes because we're stuck with crippling fear. Crippling fear of not being competent enough to do something. You know, I'm sitting here on my drive thinking to myself, well, what job could I do if I decide not to be an entrepreneur? And nothing comes to mind. And I, I realize it's because I don't feel competent enough to do something. But why don't I feel competent? It's because I don't feel confident in my own abilities. Realistically, if you sit me down and give me a task, I will get it done. It, I mean, I've gotten this far, haven't I? I got through college, I got my bachelor's degree. I clearly got all of my activities done. Um, but for some reason, our mind tells us, no, 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 you can't do that. And I think it's at that turning point that you have to realize you probably can. Now, how do I translate that to an action? I guess I have to step up my game. I simply have to sit down and try different things, things that would intimidate me, things that would scare me. So I think today I'm going to make it a point to do something that scares me. Maybe, maybe I'll walk behind a horse or something, because that's terrifying. You don't want to walk behind a horse unless you know the horse knows you're there. They can kick. Um, <clears throat> but more realistically, maybe I'll make 10 phone calls to, um, to local businesses or something like that to kind of spread the word about my business. Um, yesterday I had the great pleasure of, of a friend deciding that she wanted to help me with my business. Out of the blue, that's what she wanted to do social media wise. All right. Um, I think that's a huge confidence boost. If someone is willing to help you out when you're not willing to help yourself out, you know, somebody clearly believes in you. So you should definitely take that and, and try to run with it. You shouldn't squander that kind of enthusiasm. You know, I mean, it's a beautiful feeling to know that somebody else wants to help you, even when you couldn't. So I think my, my driving lesson or wisdom of the day so far, being that it's only, again, 7 a.m., not like I've had a full day for this, is realizing you have the comp you have to have the confidence to find the competence inside of you. And that, that can be a hell of a journey, I think. Um, it doesn't have to be a long one, but it's definitely not incredibly easy either. My God, this road is bumpy. Um, so I'm going to find ways today and I might do a driving vlog on the way home today. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I open up some kind of crazy re revelation. Um, but I need to find the confidence in me to understand my competence in whatever I do. You know, I can do basic things. I can do more than basic things. I have the ability to learn new things. I think part of me thinks that school has burned me out. Uh, school is not the most exciting thing in the world, uh, especially if you're more of a hands-on learner. Hands-on. I've got socks on my hands. It's because I lost my. Uh, I lost my. I lost my mittens today. That's gonna be terribly cold touching all of the aluminum poles that I have to shovel poop with. Yes, today I get to shovel poop. Uh, that's what we do as a volunteer. And then we get to deal with the horses and everything today. Which, as a side note, that's uh, something I've been doing to kind of help myself wake up from my uh, depressive state, is go and volunteer to help other people. And, you know, working with animals is really lovely. Uh, horses, there's just something about horses that really is. To, to work with a horse, I mean, as grumpy as a horse can be, because horses can be grumpy, it's, it's a lovely feeling. I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes now, so I will report back today and see what happens. So, hope you guys have a great day.